to another Alfie Rock Fishing video. In this video, me and Costin sat out on a 36 hour trip down to Biddlestone Pool Carp Fishery. Hope you enjoy. Before we get into this video guys, please be sure to like and subscribe, it would help out a lot. started the session at a heat of 23 degrees celsius. The carp were on the top and were definitely on the feed. Luckily enough for me, I brought a spare loaf of bread. Before setting up, it would have been rude not to have a cheeky cast with a dwarf rod. Caught off the surface this time. Uh, check that out. Guys, you saw the fight on this amazing beast. About 10 pounds in weight. I'm gonna slip it back and hopefully catch a few more. Caught on a surface of bread. Let's get it back. Me noticing a big carp in the margins, I tried to stalk it out with bread, and it didn't go the best to plan. Check that out guys, definitely not one of the biggest fish I've ever caught, but definitely one of the most best looking. Check that out, absolute pristine common. Proper happy with this one. Um, definitely wasn't, obviously as I said, the biggest. I saw him just surfacing and I dropped it in front of him, but I was debating whether or not to go for a different fish. And obviously this turned successful, because look at that. I don't think I've ever been more happy with such a small car. Free line and bread. I moved to a different spot to catch a few more. Unless it's uh, not many in the other area, but I had to get in the water for this one as he got himself snacked up. But I'm glad that we safely landed him and he's in perfect condition. Stunning fish. As the sun started to set, the fish slowly started to drop into deeper water. It was time to get the bottom baits out. I noticed a lot of fish sitting on a massive gravel channel in the margins where the no fishing zone took place. I don't like to fish gravel for various reasons, but I thought why not give it a go. The solid bag was out and it wasn't longer than 10 minutes as the rod being in the water, it screamed off. Okay everyone, check this out. The run within 10 minutes, a nice solid pellet bag with trimmed down 16mm curl boily topped on white corn and he absolutely screamed off get in the net yes yes oh my god ow oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> Do you want to rethink what you just said? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon it's actually like about 18. 16. 16 pounds on the dock. This is 16. Check that out guys. My first mirror cut from Biddlestone, caught on a solid bag. Absolutely beautiful fish. 16 pound in weight. Proper nice scaly mirror. Chuffed the hell with that. That's made my trip already. But hopefully let's catch a few more big ones in the night. And let's hopefully get Costin's new PB and with the odd push, let's hopefully get my new PB. Wow, a beautiful 16 pound mirror car. Let's slip him back and hopefully have a few more before, well, before we go home. I'm 
of me splashing water in it. Chicken nugget fish. <laughs> I've got the whole film proofed up. I'm just going to put a bunch of bleeps over there. The night was slow up until about 1am, then it turned hectic. With a constant load of lioness, it couldn't have been long before the first night bite. 2am in the morning, 6 pound bream, new PB for me. Uh, slip this one back and hopefully catch some, some more fish. Well, look at that guys, a beautiful morning common, caught this solid bag. I rechanged my um, solid bag since last night as I had a few nibbles here and there. Um, as you saw, Costa had a beautiful bream, uh, which was absolutely incredible. Never even knew there was actually bream in here. As I said, of the other fish, wow, every single fish I've caught out of here have been stunning. May not have been the biggest fish I've caught, but wow. I'm truly impressed with Biddlestone Pool Carp Fishery. This is a solid bag, also known as the PVA bag. It's used by carp fishermen for getting bait on their spot during the cast. The PVA bag simply melts in the water, allowing your pellet and rig to safely drop on the same spot like this. This is a PVA mesh bag. This is often used for margin casts and also shorter range casts. It has the exact same effect as the solid bag, except it's a lot lighter and easier to make. This is the rig that produced the 16 pound mirror. It's a homemade German rig, a size 8 barbless hook. Um, with quarter gravel end trap, 15 pound. Um, I've got a little tiny 16mm uh, krill oily which has been trimmed down to look like a bit of a dumbbell, topped off a fake piece of white corn. I would call it a snowman rig, but if that was a snowman, I'd think that was a bit odd. It was clear the fish decided to start spawning. This pushed the bite sky high and couldn't be rod in the water for more than 20 minutes. Well, another common, once again, another beautiful fish, caught on the solid bag, cast in about three foot of depth. <sighs> this session is absolutely incredible. Okay, um, bit of a bigger one this time, 13 pound three in weight, absolute beautiful fish, caught on the solid bag once again, right down in the shallow bit, and I'm quite chuffed with this one as well. I had this little carp following with Costin's bream on this bed of bait, which was fished over with this exact rig and hook bait. There we go guys, another little stunning common, caught on the solid bag, in the shallows, absolute stunning carp, <sighs> absolutely chuffed. Costin left first thing the next morning and only got to witness one of my four carp. The biggest being around £16, Costin had one fish which was his new PB bream at £6 on the dot. Overall, it was an incredible trip, and I'm much excited to get back down on the bank at Biddlestone Pool Carp Fishery. This overall video was dedicated to my very hard working dad, Brian Rock, on Father's Day. So, happy Father's Day, Dad. A big thanks to my mum and Costin's mum for giving us the opportunity to go on our first night fishing session together. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to. It would help out a lot. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.